What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And I can't believe people do that all the time. That's a little ridiculous. Uh, anyway, this is a box of stuff that just showed up today. And if you read the description, you'd already know what it is. It's a GoPro Hero 9 Black Edition or Black... I don't remember what it is. It's the Hero 9 GoPro. I've been wanting to get one for a while. Um, I've got a GoPro, the original one, Hero, the original Hero. Um, not sure if it still works or not. I uh, haven't fired it up in a long time. Even if it did, my phone takes better pictures and video than this thing ever did and audio, all that stuff. Everything is better, obviously, technology. This thing's probably 10 years old. Um, in fact, I think I'm just gonna retire and put it up there with all my older cameras up there. Uh, it's just been tucked away in a different shelf for all these years. But uh, I've been wanting to get one of these and the Black Friday special came up last week. Uh, obviously it was like all week, so I picked it up, uh, just showed up um, today. So I'm excited. I can't wait to open it up. I can't wait to use it, see what it's all about. I really hope that I have a use for it next year. I really, I got some plans. I wanna do some things with it, um, document stuff I go do, uh, you know, in my personal life, in the what most people know me for, which is photography, uh, hopefully video, coming soon uh, but uh, that's that's pretty much it I, I wanted this it's easy I, I did invest in some gear earlier in the year um, to help start uh, I'm not really vlogging I guess I don't know if I'm a vlogger uh, type um, I may be I don't really know um, but at this point I'm just using it to shoot photos videos at the track car shows cruise nights other type of events etc so I have this little I have a DJI uh, OM4, I think it's OM4. Uh, it's whatever the newest one is. It's really nice. It's a nice stabilizer. It works great. Um, it has worked great so far. Uh, I'm just looking for one, a secondary camera angle for other things, and two, uh, the GoPro offers a lot of features that my phone and the software inside of the uh, DJI software does not. So. I'm hoping to take advantage of using both of those to get what I am wanting to get. So hopefully 2021 uh, lets me get out to more events and do more things and uh, shoot more content to be able to uh, put that up there for you guys. So, well, I guess uh, let's dive into it and see what we got in the box and uh, we'll go from there. We are going to open this thing up and to do so, we're going to use the ZT0450 knife it is a Sinkovich design uh, you can see it's got carbon fiber front scale it has a titanium back scale it is a frame lock you can see it's kind of milled out in the middle here there's a deep carry pocket clip and it has a black coated blade it is super smooth it's on bearings uh, just flies out it's a great flipper it's uh, ergonomics are great it's a really nice knife anyway ZT0450 and we're gonna open this thing up and See what we got. Receipt. Box itself. All right, and as we can see, it is the Hero 9 Black Edition. Looks like it all comes, it's got a carrying case. So uh, this was a bundle package. Uh, I think they offer this all the time. Um, it was just uh, happened to be on sale uh, this past week. Uh, it does show you what's in the bundle, what comes in it, what, what's in the case. Um, I guess we'll slide this thing out. It says it's a 20 megapixel camera. It can shoot video, that's uh, for photos. It could shoot video in 5K. Um, or 4K 60 frames a second, 5K 30 frames a second. You can go 33 feet deep or 10 meters uh, in water without having a additional case. Uh, also 1080p live streaming. So if you wanted to do live videos, which uh, I've never done uh, that before, but uh, maybe we'll get into that. So I guess we'll see. I'm gonna tear this thing open. Let's see what's inside the case. It's a very nice case. Um, very comparable to a lot of uh, the other photography cases I have as far as um, my lighting gear and stuff like that. It is, uh, is, it is soft-sided, but it is a very firm case. Um, not a hard case, though. It is, it is nice, though. Uh, pretty cool little 
like a little lanyard zipper. It's got their little the GoPro logo on it. It says GoPro on the front of the case. I like it. It says it's black or gray or whatever. I like that. It kind of hides it. That's uh, not surprising. Black and gray are my uh, favorite colors. So we got up here, this is the SanDisk 32 gigabyte uh, little uh, micro SD. I think these are micro SD, yeah, 32 gig. So that comes in the, uh, the kit, the bundle. Um, some stickers, I guess. Subscribe to GoPro, I already did that. Downloaded the app on my phone. Have any product questions? Uh, not yet, sure I will, um, but uh, I probably won't be using this. I'll be using the internet because uh, who reads stuff anymore? All right, so we'll get right into this uh, package. Again, this is pretty nice. Uh, the way they have it packaged in here is pretty uh, nice and tight. I don't know if I'll be using this, but uh, it looks pretty nice. So the first thing we have in here is the, it's, uh, it's like a handle, it's a floating handle. I think they call it the floater. There's a little adjustable. Bead on here for your hand. So this is for going underwater. Is uh, foam coated. I'm assuming it's a plastic, uh, plastic piece of foam core foam around it. Uh, but it is very nice. It's uh, there's no ergonomics to it. It is just straight. But uh, it is flat on the back, which is is pretty cool. I wonder if that's so you could lay it down. I'm not really sure. It doesn't look like it could lay down completely because it has this lip here, but. It is flat on the back, so I'm wondering if that's if that's to do. Maybe it's just for your thumb. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe there's some use for that. I'm not really sure. Um, the little lanyard piece on the bottom, I guess, so that you don't lose it. Put your hand through there and then tighten it up so that uh, you don't lose it. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. Yeah, well, I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> it is elastic as well. Um, but this is uh, to make it float, so I guess if you uh, drop it in the water, it'll just kind of be like a bobber. So neat. I, I don't know if I'll end up using this thing. I probably will at first. I'll probably use this as my handle uh, if I'm doing vlog type things. Otherwise, I'll probably put it on a small tripod and use that as the handle. Alright, next up we have uh, like a clip and some sticky back pieces. So this is a sticky back, it's curved. Some, that has to be for a helmet or something like that. It's obviously not gonna work on a flat surface because it is curved. Um, some, it has to be maybe like a body panel of a car uh, or I'm assuming it's for a helmet though. I'm, I'm assuming that's probably what that is, 3M sticky back. Probably won't be needing that. Um, it's got this little, piece here. I'm guessing these, go oh, these are separate. Oh. Bear with me. I don't actually know how to use any of this stuff. My old one didn't have any fancy uh, clips and stuff like that. In fact, I 3D printed a bunch of stuff, uh, clips back in the day because I used to break them. I used to break these tabs off and then, uh, yeah, you can see they're kind of spongy. Um, I would clamp them down because I put a, I put the GoPro on cars back in the day. In fact, that GoPro went like 180 miles an hour or something back then uh, on the roof of Tommy Olsen's Camaro back when he raced True Street. So uh, this, I'm not really sure if these go together or how this works. There's a little rubber flap. I don't know if these like clip together somehow or maybe this is just for this. Not positive how all this works. It looks like this would go, yeah, so that does go in there. I was gonna say, it looks like it should slide in there, and it does. Um, so you would mount that to that, and then you'd put your camera on there, and that is now your camera mount. Oh, and then it, that makes sense, that's your release. Okay, so we got two of those. We got kind of like a, a short and a tall. Um, I'm guessing they don't work together. They just are for separate things for mounting 
It'd be nice if they were threaded for like a, a tripod. That would be, obviously they want the you to use their mounts and stuff like that, but it would be nice if you had one of these that just came threaded uh, to put on a tripod. There's a couple of screws. So I know what these are for because I've used them on the old one. So it has to be something to do with this. Or maybe not. Oh, this is the magnetic clip. So this is, uh, you can see it's like a big alligator clip. It's got uh, little ridges on the inside. It's pretty stiff. Uh, it's got pretty good clamping force. It is magnetic, which is pretty awesome. Um, so you'll be able to slap this on the side of something metal and put the camera on here. Oh, and it is swivel. I forgot about that. So this mount swivel. So you'll be able to slide this thing on here. See if I can do this. Okay, so you slide that on there like that. Put the camera on through this with a one of these guys. So that goes through the camera case and bolts on. And then you'll be able to swivel the camera around 360 degrees. So if you had this, I mean, you could have this, I guess, on your shirt or a, you know. A, brim of your hat if you really wanted to if it's some sort of blogging blocking vlogging type thing um, you could probably do that but uh, pretty neat I'll, I'm probably gonna use this for something I don't know what but I, I think the magnetic feature is pretty nice we'll be able to I wonder how strong it is like if we'll be able to actually put it on something like a moving car um, maybe not fast but maybe just doing some slow motion type stuff or time lapse maybe I'm not really sure I hope to use this though it's a pretty neat little uh, thing this is just a this is just a USB C cable so I'm guessing this is for charging or well, it probably isn't for charging it's probably for data transfer I don't know I'm not really sure I think this thing has Wi-Fi but it's a small USB C to USB uh, A type connector and then I uh, got a couple batteries. These things are small, man. These are cool. They're very, very tiny. Let's see. GoPro. Um, from what I was reading, these only work in the 9. So the the 8s are a different size than the 9s. So these only work with this one, which I guess could be a bummer if you had a bunch of these things. You know, if you've got one every year, upgraded every other year, your batteries and stuff won't uh, interchange but uh, yeah I guess uh, for now I don't have that problem um, okay well this insert is just cardboard it's a little deceiving it looks really nice in here and it holds everything but there's no way that would hold up over time being just it's it's just super thin cardboard so that um, that's kind of a bummer they could have really done something nice with this and made this like a pocketed uh, piece, you know. Maybe I can 3D print something if I want to actually use this case. I guess we'll see. I don't know if I'll have a use for a case or not. I might just carry this thing around as is or on a tripod. Um, but for travel, it would be nice to have. I mean, it is a, again, it is a very nice hard-sided case. Um, it's just a bummer because if you had this in here, obviously one of these would be in your camera, but... If you just had your stuff laying in here, it's not really that's not really a purpose. You know, it's gonna potentially damage something. So that is kind of a bummer. But uh, anyway, on to the next. And what we're all here for, I guess, the actual camera. So you got this little protective sleeve on here. Let's move this guy out of the way. You got some covers on the screens. I wonder if these need screen protectors or if they're hardened like uh, my cell phone. I'm not sure. I guess I'll have to look into that. It's very nice. It's actually got some pretty good heft to it. It's it's uh, it's heavier than I thought it would be, especially considering that there's no battery in it uh, right now. Um, I'm guessing this is just the on-off uh, button on top. There's a mode button on the side. Uh, it looks like it's got a power symbol as well, so it's probably power up and then this is... Oh, this is probably shutter. This is probably turn it on and off to actuate that. There's the removable uh, lens cover. I 
I know they make a bunch of different accessories. I'm not gonna jump into that right now, but most likely will be down the road uh, when I get more into this. These little flaps, this is very nice. Um, so you can lay this thing flat on something. That was a big gripe with the old one that I remember having is that it had these tabs on here that you couldn't uh, you couldn't do anything with. So they were just always there and you couldn't use the old one without the case, the hard case. Um, I mean, I guess you could, you could hold it, but there was no way to mount it to anything any other way but using that case and the case always had these on there sticking out. Um, also nice for any manufacturing defects because it'll allow it to wiggle a little bit, which is definitely a problem I had with the old one. Um, the tolerances on it were not great and uh, that's why I ended up breaking some stuff because one side would be really tight and one side would be loose and you'd crank down on this thing. You know, you'd put the bolt in here and really crank down on it and it would, it would, bust, these, uh, it would bust these things off. So obviously they've made some huge improvements this you know 10 years in the making or so they're pretty much one of the most renowned action camera companies out there so um, it looks like this is the door pull it down or is it pull it up it looks like it's bigger on the bottom so I would assume that's where the hinge is no. Okay. Oh, oh. Well, that's kind of neat. So the bot, the top is actually the hinge, but the bottom has like a clip that you you pull down, and then this springs open. Not spring, but it pops open. It allows you to access the battery compartment. Also, the USB-C. So that is for this. Um, you're gonna have a, a USB-C. I'm wondering if that's for data transfer or charging or both. I guess I'll have to uh, either read that manual that I wasn't gonna use or jump online, probably jump online. Let's see here, this looks like it just slides in. I wonder if these are charged at all. Doesn't look like there's any kind of coating on here. This little tab on here is, is a great idea. It's a great idea. Um, a lot of times with these small batteries, getting them out of these, uh, I remember my old, they had an old Sony, like, uh, I don't know, like a Cyber Pix or something like that, but uh, it, it was kind of a pain. It did have a spring to pop the battery out, but it was still, you had to grab this little ledge and pull it out. Um, so that is, that is awesome that you can just insert that and then it's got the little tab that stays on there. Um, and then this has got a nice rubber, really nice rubber uh, seal in here so that when you close it up, it, it's water, uh, watertight. Very cool. It's powered. Let's see if it has enough to power up. Oh, that's the mode button. Probably push the power button. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It says black nine. It's kind of fading away. I'm assuming I'll have to uh, do some firmware updates on this thing. I'm not sure how old the uh, firmware is on it. You know, this thing could be new, could be old. I'm not really sure. Um, but here we go. You can see it's setting up. It's uh, on the back. It says uh, the setup. So we can see it says, well, you probably can't see, but it says English. So uh, you can do French, Dutch, whatever. I'm going to just hit set up here and start <laughs> it says <le> <laughs> you can't it says legal stuff <laughs> yeah you agree to terms of use I mean obviously you have to do that GPS you can turn it on or off uh, to geotag your footage uh, speed altitude and more uh, sure why not let's see well it might use up a lot of more a lot more battery if it's if it's um, constantly running off GPS. So I'll turn it on right now. I'm, I'm assuming I could turn it off later. Uh, GoPro app. Uh, install the GoPro app on your phone and finish the setup. Leave your camera on and follow the instructions. I already did all that. Are you sure you want to, are you sure? Connecting the camera is easier to transfer. Yeah. Okay, today's date. I don't even know what today is. It is December 1st, yep. So, 
We'll put the date in here. December 1st, 2020. And it is... It's about 5 o'clock. A little after. Okay. Awesome. So it is set up. Can we see? Oh yeah, look at that. It's got a front-facing camera and a rear-facing uh, display. Well, I guess it's the display is both the same. It's not front-facing camera. It's always a front-facing camera, but displays uh, whatever the, the lens is pointed at. So on the back it says no SD. I've got 20% battery. Um, there's a snail. I don't know what that is. Um, Slow-mo. Okay, let's turn that off. Um, and then you can pick your video uh, resolutions, I guess, or standard activity, cinematic, slow-mo. There's a plus, so I wonder if you can do your own. Oh, it's, uh, let's put it in a 5K. Okay, looping. It says looping, slow-mo, or video. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to charge this thing up and uh, start playing with it. One thing I can notice right away, because um, it's not very bright in here, the low light on this is not good. Um, down here, it's a lot darker than up here, just because of the way I have the light set up in here. So if I bring it up, the lighting definitely gets better. Um, yeah, the low light on this. But that's always, I think, always been a thing with GoPro is... It's not been the greatest in low light, but uh, it's set to auto exposure right now. That could be another thing. You could probably manually expose it and then fix all that. But uh, anyway, this thing is really nice. I like it. I'm uh, really excited to use this. I uh, can't wait to get out and try it on some things, especially with cars. I want to throw it on some race cars and send them down the track and see what we get. Um, but for now, I guess um, I guess that's it. That was the unboxing of my GoPro Hero 9 Black. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like, comment below, anything you want. Try to keep it clean. And uh, as always, subscribe. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Um, like to hear anything you guys say, what you want me to go do with it. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.